<laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Oh, dude. Yeah. It was a G.I. Jane jump. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. I'm that was a greatest night in the history of television. Okay. <laughs> okay. What's up, everybody? Uh, it's your boy back. I saw this last night. Uh, I wasn't watching the Oscars, but I happened to see this. Well, I saw it. I was on Facebook, and one of my friends was like, why did Will Smith slap Chris Rock? And I was like, what? So I looked, <laughs> I looked up the video. video was already up. It was like, I don't know, 30 or 40 minutes <laughs> after it happened, and somebody had already posted the video. And um, I wasn't even going to talk about this because if you looked at my channel, I don't normally talk about like stuff like this. I just do reactions to TV shows and stuff like that. But I was just like, <laughs> I just felt compelled to talk about this. I don't know why. But I'm sure everyone knows now from what I've seen online that it seemed like the whole world knows. At the Oscars last night, Chris Rock, the comedian, Chris Rock, made a joke about Jada Pickett Smith. Now, Jada Pickett Smith is uh, suffering from, I think it's something called alopecia, which causes hair loss. I think it's like a, and I looked it up like hours ago, but I'm trying to remember. I think it's when, it's like an autoimmune disease when the white blood cells attack the hair follicles in your body so it makes your hair fall out and become like patchy and stuff so that's what she's suffering from i did not know that until <laughs> last night and i was wondering because i saw her shave her head i thought she just shaved her head because i've seen women do that that's like a that's like acceptable now i mean hell over like shit 16 17 years ago i dated a girl who had like she had like a, a fade you know, so it was like, it wasn't, I thought, I thought that's what she had, but I thought she just, you know, get a buzz cut. And I think her, her daughter did it too, if I'm not mistaken. And she um, shaved all the hair off her head, but it was because of this. And she was wearing, apparently she was wearing wigs before from what I've read. I don't know if that's 100% true, but I read that. That she might that she was wearing wigs and then now she's fully just accepted it and she's open with it because she was diagnosed in 2018 with this condition and she's just accepted it now and it's just open and she's fine with it you know apparently apparently not as fine as we think because chris rock made a joke about uh he said uh can't wait i think he said can't wait to see you in the next gi jane movie or gi jane 2 or something like that now, that's a movie from years ago, back in like, what was that, early 90s? Where Demi Moore shaved her head. She's like in basic training or something. And I mean, it's been years since I've seen it. I think I saw that back then. <laughs> but I remember that scene when she shaved her head. And um, you could see <laughs> in the video, when they showed like the whole thing, Jada Pickett did not much appreciate that. She looked more annoyed than like really pissed off. And Will was laughing at it. And then they cut back to Chris. And then all of a sudden Chris was like, uh-oh, here come, he said, King Richard. Will was walking onto the stage and slapped this man, slapped Chris Rock in the face. <laughs> now, when I first saw this, I thought it was a joke. Like, I, I remember calling my mom. <laughs> I think it was like, no, wait, wait, what happened? And she was like, because I know she was watching it. And she was like, yeah, he's like, smacked him. <laughs> I was like, what? And, and then looking at it, I start, you know, like analyzing and stuff. I'm like, and of course, by the time when I finally got online and really started looking at it, people had already like slowed it down and stuff. You know, and overanalyzing it, but then I'm doing the same thing. When he, when Will slapped 
Chris, I was thinking, okay, this is a bit. Because they walked up, they were both smiling. Because you could see Will's cheek, he was smiling, Chris was laughing. Will walked up to him and he smacked him. I was like, it looked like he pulled away from him from, from the smack rather than standing still and just smacking or following through and like he trying to knock his ass down with the smack. He like he, he kind of like pulled like his shoulder back away from him when he smacked. But then I'm, that's me overanalyzing it. And then sorry, I just took a shower. And then he was walking away smiling. I'm like, and Chris was like, wow, wow. Will Smith just slapped the shit out of me. And then Will was like, keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. And people were laughing at first until Will started cursing, which is, you know, out of character for Will for someone who, you know, was the clean rapper <laughs> in his youth. When, you know, when a lot of people were cursing and stuff and talking about, you know, drugs and violence in the inner cities and stuff like that. Will was more of the, you know, the, the cheerful rapper <laughs> type guy. So, like, a lot of people call him soft, I remember back in the day, because he did that. But, um, not other, like, rappers called him that. But, uh, and he wasn't talking about, you know, political stuff really back then, so. But he did boycott. Didn't he boycott the Grammys or something because they weren't recognizing hip-hop artists when he was younger? I know he boycotted somebody. Is it the Grammys or... Golden Globe, something. I think it was a Grammy because it, it was something he didn't he he didn't get nominated for. They weren't nominated and they didn't have a hip hop category, so he thought that was bullshit. But anyway, he he slapped Chris. Chris goes, "Wow!" And he's like, "Dude, it was a GI Jane joke." And he's like, "Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth." I st I'm still thinking it was fake because I was like, when Will because. When I, I looked at it, I looked at more of the uh, Oscars after that. After that, I looked at some highlights, and when Will won, his, he won Best Picture. Uh, or, or no, he won Best Actor. I'm sorry, Best Actor for uh, King Richard. And when I, I was like, wait a minute, he didn't get escorted out by security. Like this man assaulted somebody, and he just got to stay, even if he was winning an award, like. People win awards and don't even show up to the Oscars and they just send it to them or they come pick it up or whatever. I was like, how did he not get escorted out? I like, no security came up. Nobody came up and stopped or nothing. And he just slapped somebody in the face, which I'm thinking like when he walked up on stage, I thought he'll do like a joke, like grab, like, ah, like kind of like, you know, or say something funny or whatever, maybe, but no. Nah. Will, like, I done had enough. I know he's been dragged in the past few years, you know, because of that whole thing with his wife and, um, was the name? August something, like that singer, uh, sleeping with his wife. Um, he's been dragged because of that, but, like, that shit, like, I ain't, I, to me, I do think that the joke was kind of, kind of a uh, tasteless joke. But at the same time, it was just a joke, and it wasn't even that intense. Because to me, she's not suffering. If it was, I don't know, maybe because if it was like chemo, if she like she lost her hair because she was in chemo or something like that, or something else more serious that she could die from, then I can see Will being upset. But even then, you talk to that man after. I know some people were like, well, Chris Rock said it publicly, so Chris, so he, so uh, Will Smith should respond publicly, like. Not physically. Now, if he'd have went up there and said something, you know, pertaining to like, like you know, my wife suffering from this, and you know, a lot of women suffer from this, and we, you know, keep on our thoughts and prayers, something like you know, something like that, you know, whatever. But you just walk up there, slap somebody, and then walk off stage. That's another thing where I was thinking it was fake, because Will walked up there, slapped this man. Also, the angle was kind of funny because it, it reminds me of the angle they use in action movies where they punch somebody but they show like from the back from the person throwing the punch so it you it's hard to determine the distance so the person is like it could be like this much space but they they're throwing the punch but you can't tell because the camera's like behind them so it looked like it you know it landed 
what it was that and also because that was of course because the camera was right there so that's the only angle they had they didn't have it from the side but uh also will just walked away like i don't care who you are i don't care if you mike tyson if you hit somebody there's no way and it, you hit them and they didn't fall and like they got knocked out or fall down to the ground or something. There is no way you turn your back to that person. Like he turned his back. Like I don't care if you like uh, that part, like you're not worried about them because you think you so badass that you're not worried about them. You turn your back to somebody and they haul off and it, like because Chris Rock. Could have full on. This is Sparta kicked him in his spine off that stage, like Chris because Chris Rock he looked like he wanted to do so or say something or like keep like going with the jokes and they just clowning him, but he pulled back and he just like that's one thing I was like yeah, that motherfucker got a chin. He took that smack even though I don't think that smack was that hard because uh, like I said it looked like Will pull his shoulder like away. From Chris Rock with the smack. Um, also, he just kind of just took it. Chris Rock, like, he barely took his hands from behind his back. So he was just like, wow. Like, you just hit me in. And he's like, keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. And I was like, like I said, I could understand from Will's point of view. Like, I got to, his wife, because like I said, Will laughed at the joke. Now, I don't like it didn't seem like an awkward laugh like <laughs> like that like what like they like, kind of like I didn't I like that joke but he's just you know just started laughing but you kind of like but he like he was fun like he thought the joke was funny and you could tell Jada did not think so and then immediately he just gets up and walks up and smiles <laughs> and also I was thinking uh they rehearsed the Oscars so they go over like the, the dialogue, the jokes, usually the per the person's gonna say because it can only run for so long. Like they had they got a start and an end time. That's why they be trying to rush people off stage because they be okay, y'all talking too much, y'all ad libbing, and y'all need to hurry up. It's not what we rehearsed. <laughs> so hurry the fuck up and get off stage because we don't want to go over broadcast time. Cause I think they gotta pay for that. I don't know how much. It probably depends on like each minute you go over. Maybe it's like a hundred thousand dollars or something, but uh, and then they might find Will for that because he also took a long time in his acceptance speech, which he was crying about and stuff. And now he's talking about what are you saying about uh, a, a member of peace or something like that. I was like, you just smacked the shit out of somebody. <laughs> like, yeah, he's a, a agent of peace or some shit. And um, I'm like, and then all these people consoling him because I saw a video where I think it was Tyler Perry and um, Denzel Washington, and then couldn't like tell him like, hey man, don't worry about it, like brush it off. And then Bradley Cooper talked to him, and then I saw where uh, Denzel Washington was talking to Jada Pickett. And I'm like, is anybody checking on Chris? <laughs> like Chris the one who got. But that was crazy at the Oscars. I'm like, that, I'm just feel like that's um, like I said, I understand your pride gets you. You feel like you had to defend your woman in front of people, I guess. But that's some shit you should have handled in private. I know y'all, they lives are very public. Them and Jade, him and Jade is like they like they talk about all their business out in public. But that's some shit you handle privately. That's like in. Like you don't just start throwing shots. That's like when, like I've had altercations, well not altercations, but issues with people like I've worked with where it could easily come to blows. But I didn't do it. I didn't, ex you know, um, that's the word I'm looking for. Um, I'm like agitate, and that's not the word I'm looking for, but the, the situation, and neither did they. So I was like, I'm not going to push this. Because one thing, if I just start swinging and hitting this person, even though I feel like I'm in the right to do that and my pride would be intact, I'm going to have to look for another job after this because I've had a fight in the office with some with another coworker. 
you know, so you, like sometimes you gotta you gotta think first and swallow your pride. Like we're not animals based on instinct. I mean, we we technically animals, but I'm talking about like we we free thinkers. We are aware of our own, you know, consciousness. So we you can think the situation out. Like I said, he could have dealt with that if if he was that broken up. If he was that pissed off. He could have talked to him afterwards. And like I said, Jada Pinkett Smith seen that. Like, if she was wearing wigs before, like I don't, I wasn't following it. Plus, I said I didn't even know she had alopecia. Um, but if she was like, "Oh, okay, I'm fully accepting this now," you know, and I've told everybody what I got, and I'm accepting that I'm not. And she was wearing wigs before she stopped wearing them. If somebody makes a joke about it, and then you get all in your feelings about it, that doesn't seem like you fully accepted it, <laughs> like to yourself, like you. Especially like that tame ass joke. That was nothing compared to some jokes I've heard Chris Rock say about people and shit. Like that was nothing. It, like hell, even the joke what was I think it was 2016 when they boycotted the uh, Oscars. Then you know the Oscars so white stuff, and he was like, "You weren't invited." He talking about Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith. Like you weren't invited. Like to me, that felt more like like a. Like, like I, that was more of a jab than this. Like, that, was, that, 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 to me, that joke was nothing. And I said, I know she's suffering from, like, alopecia. But, like I said, it's not a deadly disease. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it was dead. If it was, like, cancer or something, I could see people being more upset. I've seen people joke about cancer that didn't even, never even had cancer or have it. So, you know, you'd be thinking, well, why you, 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 you know, like, who are you talking about this? Why are you joking about it? Who gave you the right to joke about this, you know? And maybe it's me because I don't mind dark humor like that. As long as it's funny, like if it's not funny, then, yeah, you get offended by it because, like, damn, you didn't even do us the courtesy of being funny, motherfucker. Like, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that was just, that was crazy. Like, he just walked and asked... I'm still, I, I know people going back and forth, like, oh, I think it was a bit, I think it was fake, I think it was like, and, like, when Will Smith walked away from him after he smacked him, I'm like, dude, you didn't know what this dude was going to do. He could have jumped on your back or put you in a rear naked choke and choked the shit out of you, you know, or punched you in the back of the head or kicked you in your back, kicked you off the stage or something. Like, you just, like, even if I'm not worried about something, like, I think I can beat this person that. I'm not turning my back to them. Like, but like I said, maybe he wasn't thinking clear. Clearly he wasn't because he walked up on stage. You could tell after the fact he was he almost seemed like he like, fuck, I fucked up. And then he was like everyone, the the even the weirder part, everyone's pretending like that shit didn't happen. Like I know they actors and actresses, but like no one's like it didn't happen. Will Smith laughing and like clapping and shouting. Like, how is he still at the Oscars, he didn't get escorted out. I mean, if I would have slapped, <laughs> if I would have slapped somebody, you guarantee I'm getting kicked out. Like maybe they let him stay because he was winning an award. But I'm like, he just assaulted somebody, and he still <laughs> he just got to stay up front, clapping and laughing and shit. And I'm just like, I heard P Diddy. He was like, he said, no way. Uh, he said, uh, Chris. And well, we gonna sell it. We gonna sell this like family at, at the uh, after party. <laughs> I like he was trying to like calm the situation. But wow, I, I, I was thinking, I was like, I wonder if like somebody like P Diddy has said something like that. Well, Will has smacked him, or like somebody like Fifty Cent, like we <laughs> we has smacked him, like, walked up there and did that. But I was like, man, you don't. One thing that was just it was. I mean, they both really at fault, but no, nothing is nothing justifies violence like that. I don't care. Like it's like when people say, "Oh, this person was yelling at this cop and calling them pigs and fuck you," and the cop like grabbed them and tried to start wrestling. And then when a the person resisted, like, oh, you resisting arrest, and then they throw them to the ground, and then other cops jump in, they start kneeing them and stuff, and they're like, "Well." What did you think was going to happen? You said the cop. You called the cop names. Like, like you would think, like, okay, they called you names. Like, hell, when I was in, when I was in fucking kindergarten, we learned sticks and stones may break our bones, but words would never hurt us. Like, you need to be a little bit more in control of your emotions than that. 
Like, you know, <laughs> you just attack people because, like, because I was like, he could press charge. Now they say Chris Rock declined to press charge. I guess LAPD contacted him. But, I mean, shit. If, like, guess what? Like, celebrities be attacking, like, regular people. Like, these motherfuckers, they like, I'm getting, like, if me personally, like, uh, who I am, Will Smith did that to me. Like, I probably would did Chris. I wouldn't even touch them. I'm like, you, I'm about to get paid. <laughs> I'm about to get at least three million. Because, <laughs> like, you got to. You gotta remember, you got shit to lose. I just like that's like anybody. If you got, if you single and you like, I can just do whatever I want. I ain't no kids, nothing. I can do whatever. But when you start having a family, now you not only you not only taking care of yourself, but you are taking care of a family, and they want to see you come home, and you want to come home to them. You know, and you can't be going out there doing the same regular shit you was doing when you was by yourself. When it was just when it was just you. So it's the same thing. It's not just it's not just about money. It was like I can't. I got other people who depend on me, and I just like will like you got now that like, this wouldn't result in will going to jail or shit like that. But he most likely if he'd be fined, he might get. Uh, it'd probably be like a misdemeanor. Well, it would be like assault, but it's like a misdemeanor, and um, he might have to do like community service or anger management or something like that. <laughs> But he might, because he's who he is, he might not even have to do all that, but he might just have to pay a fine. Like you like you got to be careful doing shit like that, because you can't, people like, oh, I've seen comments, people like, yeah, he should have did that, he defended his wife and all this. I'm like, that's fine, but you got to be, you got to be careful. Like, I live just outside of Chicago. Like, and, and I mean, this goes for really any place, but particularly like cities. You gotta be careful. Like somebody might disrespect you, or disrespect your wife, and you think, well, I'm you thinking all your pride and shit. I'm gonna go up there and say this and say that. Like, look, look at your situation first. Like, analyze the situation before you do that. Cause I've seen people do shit like that and get fucked up. Cause they start talking shit. Somebody talks shit to them, or talk shit to their girl, or grab that girl's ass, or some shit like that. And this and the dude like now I gotta defend her and he's pissed off and he got he go in this dude's face but he didn't notice this dude had friend like four or five friends that he was talking to and then you get in a fight and they jump in and I now look at you I mean I guess you got your pride but you gonna be going to the hospital or you know you might be killed or something like you gotta be careful like like you gotta yeah think now nah, in this situation I don't think. Will would have been in any danger, like even if they fought, people would have broke it up. It's not like you in the street. But I'm just talking about us seeing other people talking about, like, yeah, he should do that, and I don't want a man if he don't do that. I'm like, you gonna be single because your man gonna be dead, <laughs> just, just coming up on any old body thinking that I'm gonna smack them or beat their ass. Like, all right, like you gotta think, yeah, you, you got a brain, you better think first. You might think like. Oh, you a coward? Like, all right, like, I might be a coward, but I won't be a, a, a dead, brave person. <laughs> I'm probably full of pride. I'll be in heaven, full of pride. So they be like, God, be like, you know, pride is the the top mortal sin. Straight to hell you go. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyway, that's that's what I just want to talk. I just saw that. I didn't want to talk this long, but it's just I just saw that and I was like, okay, this is fake. <laughs> But then it's like the wheels start cursing. I'm like, is this real? And it just seems more and more like it's real. But then it's like the the slap scene, like he pulled it. It seemed to come out of nowhere. And I saw Will was laughing at the joke. Then I was thinking, don't they rehearse this? Shouldn't he have gone over this? Or uh, was this a joke that he ad lived in the show? Like they didn't go over this. Um or maybe Jada wasn't there because maybe Will was the only one there because he's the one accepting the award. But you, you think he would have told her, hey, he's going to do a joke about you. But unless we find out all this is fake, then they need to give Chris an Oscar too because that the way he was like, you the look on his face and the way he kind of like was like uh, stammering over his word when he said the best. He's like, we're going to give out, he's a documentary, I mean, uh, the award for best documentary. <laughs> Like he was, you could he like he was like stuttering over his words. Like 
he was pissed. He looked like he was about to start crying because that, that, if he actually hit him. I'm sure it stung. And then Will, like, he was about to start crying. And it probably just anger, like angry tears. Like, anyway, you've been so angry, you start crying. Like, uh, and and then you sitting there like, especially when you don't fight back. And you're like, I don't want to fight back because I want to remain professional. And you standing up there. That's why he was like, all right, let's just go. Let's just go to the nominee. And you, you, you like you just fuming, and then especially because he did that. Let's go to the nominees, and you can tell he looked down at Will Smith. So I was like, if that is fate, get that man deserves a goddamn award too, and give Will another Oscar, even though he like he was laughing the whole goddamn time. But, uh, but yeah, uh, but what do y'all think? Y'all think Will was justified in that? You think? Um, uh, Will should have dealt with this behind the scenes, or you think he just should have brushed it off? Maybe they should have been a little bit more less sensitive about the joke. You think Chris should have been should have not said the joke because she is suffering from a condition, like I said, but it's not a fatal condition, but it is an incurable one, and she might be self conscious about it. But you know, maybe he shouldn't have made that joke. You know. And I know a bunch of comedians gonna be talking about this. Talking about some comedians can't tell Joe. They should be able to say whatever they want. And I, I know that I know all the podcast. I bet Joe Rogan gonna be on. Cause that man, he, he, he didn't he do like a whole special about he should be able to say the N word. <laughs> but uh, I know the comedians gonna be on this boy. But uh, anyway, let me know y'all thoughts in the conversation down below, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.